All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it is time to properly use a graduated cylinder. So Bridget, you're gonna help me out with this one. James gonna be our observer. Uh, Bridget, would you mind pouring liquid one completely into the red graduated cylinder? Now remember, pour with commitment. Don't go too slow. I'm gonna turn it all the way upside down so we get all of the every last drop out. Uh, okay. Should be good. All right, take, take it off. All right, now, to properly use a graduated cylinder, you have to get on the level with the level of the liquid. And you'll notice this is a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. And if we go down, we can see our level with the bubbles is just about 67 milliliters. So the bubbles are about where the meniscus is. Remember the meniscus is the kind of lower part of the curve for a liquid um, when it goes into graduated cylinder. Because of the adhesion and cohesion of the liquid, it tends to start to creep up the sides of the container, forming a little bit of a, almost a bowl shape when you look at it on the level. But in this case, because we have bubbles formed, and you can see they're popping, you can see the meniscus start to form a little bit better. If you look at it from the side, you can see they're, they're kind of crept up the side of the graduated cylinder, forming that kind of bowl shape. So we can measure our volume of our liquid one as 67 milliliters. Now we're going to record that in table one. And we're going to go measure liquid two.